so cute. Cheesecake bites. <gasps> wow. Mm. What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be making some mini cheesecake bites. What you're gonna need is one and a half cups of graham cracker crust, one fourth cup of butter melted, 16 ounces of cream cheese, so that's two eight ounce cream cheese, room temperature, um, one cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of sour cream or plain Greek yogurt, two eggs, two teaspoons of lemon juice, one teaspoon of vanilla, and then one pinch of salt. So right now I am just going to prepare, prep our ingredients. Um, give me one second here. Let me show you the process here. So I'm just going to squeeze out some lemon juice because we need two teaspoons. All right, so let's go ahead and cut our lemon just like that. And we're just going to squeeze out some lemon juice. Half a lemon is fine because we're only needing two teaspoons. So just like that is perfect. And then you can save the rest of the lemon juice for some lemon water or something like that. I love lemon water. It's delicious. All right, so that's that. Mm, love lemon. So we have lemon juice here, we have our salt, we have our eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare our graham cracker crust. So I have this little sheet here, and then I also have these little silicone muffin molds or cupcake, cupcake molds or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is what I have, 20 molds. So, so yeah, have that here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my food processor to make our graham cracker crust. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Delicious. Okay, so one and a half cups of graham cracker crust. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the process here. Take you guys over. Can you guys see this here? Yeah, you can see. Just gonna add our crackers. Go ahead and break them up. Be very careful, you don't touch the blade of your food processor. One time I cut my finger really bad, so just be careful. All right, just like that, oopsie. 10 second rule. Okay, make sure you guys are still here. Okay, one minute until you guys cut out. All right. So I don't know how much this is. I feel like it's about a, a, a cup and a half, but I'm gonna go ahead and measure it out. Just to see if I got the right measurement. So yeah, be very careful with your food processor. I really cut myself pretty badly one time. <laughs> I was not thinking clearly. I was trying to clean it out and I just like, slice my finger on the blade. So y'all be careful. All right, we're gonna need one and a half cups. I don't think I have enough. I might have to crush more crackers. But let's see here. Let's see here. I think we're good. I think I have enough. I think I do. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got, I literally have, holy cow, that's crazy. I literally have one and a half cups. Can you see that? That is a miracle. I need to grab butter because I haven't melted my butter yet. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna need, how much butter did I tell you guys? Um, one fourth cup butter, melted. I'm assuming that's just regular salted butter, so. Gonna put it in a bowl. A little bowl here. Alrighty. One fourth cup of butter. Butter, butter. Perfect. Okay. Just gonna peel. 
peel this butter. Hope you guys are having a marvelous day today. Seems like a beautiful day in Scottsdale, Arizona. Hope it's a beautiful day for you as well. All right, we're just going to nuke our butter really quick. And then we are going to make our, well we're going, we're gonna work on our graham cracker crust and place it in our cupcake molds. So, we also need to, we also need to preheat our oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna do that right now. And it says to line your muffin cups with paper liners on my cupcake um, molds. Got our butter. Ooh, butter smells so good. Okay, we have our butter. Let's preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're like me, you don't have paper liners for your muffin molds, just put some pan. That's what I'm gonna do at least. I'm just gonna hope that that works. I don't see why not. Pan. Handy dandy pan. All right, and with, if you have silicone molds, if you have silicone molds like this, I don't think you need to put Pam. I think you just need to put Pam um, in a metal sheet. So just gonna spray the holes. Just like so. Gotta clean up my mess as I go. Cause So now we are going to let me read our instructions here really quick. In a medium bowl, combine the graham, combine the graham cracker crust, blah, 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 butter, divide between liners, press into the bottom for a bake for 10 minutes, which I just want to reduce. Okay, so yeah, in a bowl, we're going to add our butter with our graham cracker crust. So I'm gonna grab a bowl really quick. Okay, so got my bowl. And we're just going to combine our graham cracker crust with our butter. I'm gonna grab a spatula really quick. My favorite spatula. Or you can use a spoon, whatever you guys prefer. So let's go ahead and combine our graham cracker crust and our butter till it's well combined, evenly distributed. All right, so. Boom. And then our butter. Boom. Just like that. Now let's combine it up. Let's combine it up. Graham cracker crust parte. Oh yeah, it smells good. Mmm, it smells so good. Wow, I haven't realized how sweet graham crackers smell. Yum. All right. That should be good. It's perfect. Graham cracker crust. I'm gonna give the camera a break because you guys are overheating right now, so I'll be right back. Hey right, guys, so our oven is preheating and now I'm just going to work on Stuffing our muffin slash cupcake molds. The recipe says that we need 20. So I'm just going to measure this out as best as I can and put graham cracker crust at the bottom. And it says to press down pretty hard at the bottom of the mold so that way it'll stick. I really hope I'm doing this right. I've never done this before. So let's just hope that this turns out good. <laughs> let's hope that it sticks to the mold. Okay, that seems to be pretty good. Now let's try this one. This should be, it should stick because of the butter, but like I said, this is the first time I've ever done this before. So cross, let's cross our fingers. Let's have hope. 
Let's manifest it, right? Let's manifest perfect little cheesecakes. Oh, and also guys, this is optional, but also have um, strawberry whipped cream put on the top of them. So yeah. All right, so I have, this is what it looks like so far. So I'm going to finish this up and then we will bake these for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna reduce the heat down to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So I finished the graham cracker crust. Let me show you. Filled 20 muffin molds. So just like that. And then over here to bake these for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven. Put them in the oven. Set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, counting down. Perfect. Okay, so now let me read the instructions. It says, in a large bowl, beat cream cheese with an electric mixer until smooth. Add the sugar, sour cream, eggs, lemon juice, vanilla, and salt. Perfect. So I'm just going to open our little cream cheese, Philadelphia cream cheese. The classic cream cheese. We're going to beat this in our stand mixer, or you can mix it by hand if you want, but it's a lot easier with a stand mixer. And I love my handy dandy stand mixer, so I'm gonna use that. Sometimes these are hard to open. Here we go. Woo. Satisfying peel. Okay, let's open this one up. I love cream cheese, you guys. Do you? I don't think I've met anyone who doesn't like cream cheese. I'm sure there are people out there who don't like it, but I love cream cheese. Alrighty. He's over to our stand mixer. And I'm gonna take our two eggs and our one cup of sugar and then two two teaspoons of lemon juice, sour cream, pinch of salt, and then one teaspoon of vanilla. So, measurements. One teaspoon, half a cup, and yeah, that's it. I'll show you guys the process. Just like that, and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients. So yeah. So our cream cheese is nice and smooth now, and now we're going to add sugar, sour cream, eggs, lemon juice, and vanilla, and a pinch of salt on medium-high speed until smooth, two to three minutes. So let's add our ingredients. muffin molds with our mixture super excited um, 
So it says there, there should be enough filling for us to fill it to the top. Okay. Boom and boom. That seems pretty good. So about two or one and a half spoonfuls, pretty big spoonfuls, I think should be good. Ooh, this is pretty, pretty heavy. Alrighty. Boom. And boom, just like that. So I'm gonna finish the rest of these muffin molds and then I will show you the, the finished product. All right, you guys, so let me show you. Our cheesecake muffin cupcake thingies. So yeah, they're we'll trying to put these on the same rack. And we are going to cook these for, we're gonna bake these for 20 to 22 minutes. Until they're firm. Let me read. Let me read what it said, because I don't remember. For 20 to 22 minutes, or until the centers are nearly set. So I guess we just gotta keep an eye on it. I'll probably pull it out at 20 minutes, just to make sure. Well, let's go ahead and put in our cheesecakes. Looks like I'm gonna have to bake this on the bottom rack, so. I'll just keep an eye on it. Hopefully they don't burn or, I'm sure it'll be fine, but let's go ahead and start our timer. I'm gonna do a timer for 20 minutes and just keep an eye on it, like I said, so. Start a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, counting down. It just went off, my timer just went off, so I'm going to grab those and it says to refrigerate at least three to four hours until chilled before serving as desired. But if I can, I wanna try one with you guys right now, so I'm gonna just pull them out of the oven and yeah. Hopefully I can be able to try it. Hopefully I can try one with you guys. Ooh, they look so good. Oh my goodness gracious, they look so good. Wow. Yum. Yum. Oh, oh no. I touched the top. Okay. Oh my goodness, they look so cute. I have to show you. All right, so these are our mini cheesecakes. Super cute, I messed this one up, but it's okay. All right, so I'm just gonna let this sit for a few minutes and then um, try one with you guys. So yeah. All right, you guys, so I have my little mini cheesecake bites here. So cute. Crust is falling apart a little bit on the bottom, but they still look good. And I put this strawberry flavor whipped cream. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. That's good. Wow, that's really good. Holy cow. Okay, let's go ahead and try our cheesecake bites. <gasps> Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. It tastes just like cheesecake. I mean, obviously, but this was super easy to make. Way easier than making an, actu an actual cheesecake, I'm assuming, because I've never made a cheesecake before. I know you have to do like the water bath and stuff like that. This was super easy and tastes just like a normal cheesecake, so wow. Mmm. Oh my word. Mm-hmm. And I like this better than like real fruit. You still get a fruity flavor, but 
This whipped cream, delicious. Delicious. Mmm. I love cheesecake. Mm. I'm eating this so fast. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, the graham cracker crust didn't stick very well on the um, metal pan. These are from the metal pan one. Maybe the ones in the silicone stuck better, but either way, it still tastes still tastes good. Mm-hmm. Wow. Perfect for like a midnight snack. <laughs> mm hmm And this, great value. Walmart brand. Mm-hmm. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. To subscribe. Bye.